Shit, you imagine, you make some jinx. Welcome back to Don't Escape Four Days to Survive. We have got storm catchers, even though they don't really catch storms. Hang on, wait a minute. Hang on. We still need to make a lightning rod. I use this, can I? No. Nope. Okay, so we need to go set these stuff up. We need to start hunking down. Let's go to the construction site. Everybody here? No. The bandits are gone. So this is about... Sirial plexus, but it goes in the wrong direction, doesn't it? Yeah, aliens. Hmm. For the top. Rather than kick for later, we don't have gloves so we can't go up there, but is there anything else? Whoa, what the fuck a crane? Spool of wire. Something that allows you... Well, you know what? Oh. That's weird. Hmm. Okay. Good thing I got gas. So... Oh, she's talking to Barry. In the climate. Yeah. Where am I? Oh, there you are. So, um, let's go to cables inside. Gonna... Whoa, ouch! That's not good. Uh... Hi. Oh god, that's a tiny crane. Hopefully this is right. I think so. Let's turn off electricity first. There it is. There, I've stored it. Down we go. It's all the wire. What was this? Oh. I still need to make a lightning rod. I think that's everything here. Wait, do you want me to make a lightning rod from the helicopter? Oh, what? Oh, I'm supposed to close that. I kind of wanted to go out of it. Hello. Can't do that. Well, you know what? Well, guess I've got to close the hatch, but how do I make a lightning rod? Oh, I might need extension cord. That's the only thing I can think of because it's got a... the plug. Cause I don't have it with me. Some cords at the. Uh, the okay. Well, well, well. You know what? While I'm here, I'm pretty certain I'm supposed to use a copper wire on the fucking roof. So I'm doing it. Oh, hello. Don't tell me not really. It's not gonna work. So the wire chimney lead it to the ground. Take 22 minutes. Yes. I've installed a lightning rod. Excellent. Okay. Uh, and Q Thunder. I want to cover the helicopter in the hole with a tarp. Yes. I put the tarp over the helicopter covers most of the hole. Okay, that's what we need to do. Cover that. So that should be all upstairs. Lightning rod. Done that. Uh, probably should cover that up as well.
Just in case. I don't know what to expect. Didn't help at all. That's fine. There's the lightning rod. Okay, final last trip out. And then we should be able to stay hot. No, that's on the RV. Oh, you guys can get unplugged. I don't want to pick it up. You know, pick it up. It's a long ass tension cord. Okay, and with that, to the lodge. I'm gonna get this, okay? Through here. No, not the diary. I'm gonna take it through the window. I don't see why we can't break out of that broken window. Come on, buddy, run. Time is short. Oh, where are you going? Why can't I not use it anymore? I can't see how that would work. Buddy pal. Oh, there it is. It's plugged in and working, or at least it's glowing. I saw one this. Okay, so that means all the storm catches are done. Climb down, and that should be everything we can possibly do for the outboards. Now we just need to board up and dig our trenches. Yeah, I'm gonna do the boards first. Well, most of them at least. Duct tape it. I think this is it. I think we're doing well. It's still dark. Okay, we want to dig trenches, don't we? Nine minutes. Oh no, I don't like that. Doesn't seem to be a place here. That's it? All, that's all the trenches we have to do? This is the way the storm water. Okay. So what have we got? We've got... Stormcatcher 1, Stormcatcher 2, Lightning Rod, Helloptoids is uh, all good. All Stormcatchers are good. Roof hatch is shut. Board. Boards are up on the windows. We're done. Uh, ditches around the place. So this should be it. I don't know what else the game would want for me. And now we're stuck indoors. <laughs> right, well. I guess that's everything. Alright, so let's, uh, let's, we've got less than four hours. We're just gonna go ahead. I don't think we'll need anything. Uh, I myself was <laughs> for the weapon, I don't know. 100% rain. As the day reached, black clouds pushed by the wind from the east covered the sky, casting dark shells on the ground below. Loud thunder was so sounding all around, proceeding by sudden sharp flashes of light. But then the first rain drops fell from the wasteland onto the wasteland. It was not a life giving water the dry land had been thirsty for. It was saturated with burning acid as the earth decided to clean its surface of life before the moon did. 
You pull a storm coach to the crane on the construction site. A special magnitude field pushed from the clouds 5% away from the region. You pull a storm coach on the tall tree in the forest. A special magnet field pushed from the clouds away from the region. You pull a storm coach on the hamburger pile on by the restaurant. A special magnetic field pushed from the clouds away. All three storm catchers were placed in front. I'm gonna say five percent for each one is not was not amazing as they promised me. You formed a triangle around your base, shielding it from the storm and reducing its power by additional twenty percent. Okay, that's much better. So that's thirty-five altogether. You dog ditches around the base, driving away some of the water, protected you from being flooded and reduced the threat by fifteen. You secured the helicopter hull, covering it with a tarp. This prevented some water from pouring into the house. However, it wasn't the perfect fit. Uh oh. You closed the roof hatch. That was a good idea. It stopped 10% of the water from being poured in. You made an improvised lightning rod on the roof. Well, I was looking for a real one. You know that? It was a good call. Lightning struck the house, hitting it directly. If it wasn't for the rod, the roof would have taken a serious hit. This lowered the threat by 20%. You closed the front door, putting a towel in the crack. It stopped some of the water from getting in. Ah. Is that perfect? The roof was already leaking, but not much of the rainwater managed to pour inside. You were safe. You survived to see another day. So that wasn't good enough. Oh no, you must. Oh, I want to get perfect. Okay, the only, only thing I can think of, the only mistake I really did, well, at least I think I did, was the tarp was not secure. So maybe that's it? That's the only thing it pointed out, saying I didn't do well enough. Now the tarp is held in place nicely. Okay, so that, that's, that's it. <laughs> I really don't know what else it could possibly want from me. Alright, so let's... Is it all shut? All the windows? I have no idea. Okay, yes. Take two! Duct tape. Save your us all. Okay, let's try that again. Five percent. Five percent. Five percent. Twenty percent. Fifteen. You just cut the helicopter hole, covering it with a tarp and placing a lot of duct tape around it. Thanks to your efforts, you presented some water, twenty percent from pouring in the house. Ten percent. There you go! That was it! You managed to prepare for the storm perfectly. You end up completely dry and overshaken shaken by the strong winds, untouched by the loud thunderstorms and burning acid. This was meant This meant some well deserved sleep. You prepared your hideout perfectly and it paid off. Not only did you sigh, but you also had some good rest lasting last night. Oh man. No stairs. No stairs. He's like, where are they? A cold nine outside. Really? Yeah, kind of cold. Kind of terrifying. Kind of the end of the world. Look how different our house is now. Look at this. Wow. So, it is today. Is it? Yes, I've seen it. This time there's no way to survive this. We know where the ship is. Come on, Kate. How's that gonna save us? Maybe you can tell me more. If you tell me more about the space station, the story will be more believable. But so far? Just a little bit longer, David. Let's go to that outpost. It's pretty far away, so we'd better take a car. Barry, how do you feel? How should I feel? My wife is dead. I've had the worst night of my life, and the world is about to end. Hang in there, old buddy. Things are gonna get better. I don't know, David. This whole thing about the spaceship is too good to be true. 
Not to mention I'm terrified of it flying. I take trains. Don't worry, you'll see I'm not buffing. Bluff buffing. Bluffing? And is there gonna be a spaceship? Yes! Like a real one? And we're gonna go into space? Exactly! I wanna go to space. Woohoo! Man, Cody, you're just the best person in this. He's gonna keep running all his life. Well, we survived another night. Uh, my gosh. We survived another. <laughs> this is the last day. At the time I didn't even need a dream to tell me that. I can feel it. The moon will hit the earth today. We have to look at outpost and see if the ship's still there. Okay, so. We'll head off to the outpost next time. Uh, I'm guessing it's. Uh, It's gonna be similar, similar problem. Well, not the same problem, but like a similar problem to what we did with last time. So we should be able to f possibly finish this all up. Oh, gonna have to make tough choices about what to carry, but we should be able to survive this. All of us should be able to survive this, hopefully. And we've got the two floppy disks, so looking good. Awesome. Almost there to a long, long ride, but. We are doing well, and we should end well, hopefully. <laughs> but anyway, that is it for this video, guys. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, subscribe for more awesome content. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, bye.